Jimmy Carter, the 39th President of the United States, has become one of the world's most prolific and respected humanitarians, whose work through the Carter Center sees him traveling the globe fostering peace, fighting disease, and promoting democracy. It was this unwavering belief in peaceful resolution that cost him his presidency. The storm, the embassy. Hostages in Tehran tonight. And there's almost nothing the United States can do about it. Do you feel there were any choices you would have made differently? I think I would have been re-elected easily if I had been able to rescue our hostages from the Iranians. And uh, everybody asked me, what would you do more? I would say I would send one more helicopter because if I had one more helicopter, we could have brought out not only the, the 52 hostages, but also brought out the rescue team. And when that failed, then I think that was the main factor that brought about my failure to be reelected. So that's one thing I would change. I would say, do something, anything, and he said, and then have them take a hostage out one at a time, one day, and, and execute them in front of the world. You know, he, he was firm, but it was tough. We knew he would probably not, probably not be reelected. He didn't give in, so I was proud of him. But peace is very difficult. Uh, war is popular in our country. Even your wife, Rosalind, was encouraging you to take action. Was it hard to, to not take everyone's advice around you, even your wife's? Yes. Um, well, I could have been reelected if I had taken military action against Iran. It would have shown that I was strong and resolute and, and um, manly and so forth. But uh, I think if I, I could have wiped Iran off the map with the ma weapons that we had. Uh, but in the process, a lot of innocent people would have been killed, probably including our know, hostages. And so I stood up against all that, uh, all that advice, and then eventually uh, my prayers were answered and every hostage came home safe and free. And so I think I made the right decision in retrospect, but it was not easy at the time. I think he was uh, incredibly unfairly judged. I mean, he was ahead of his time when he was in the White House. And I think if it hadn't been for the Iran hostage uh, situation, uh, he would have had a second term and I think uh, most likely would have been as well respected for his time in office as, as for his time outside the office. Do you feel the American people have accepted that now, that it was the right decision? I think increasingly they have, as more facts are known and as people look back on those times. Uh, but there's still a strong inclination in our country to, to take uh, military action when I think it's not necessary. You left office, sir, as you have said, involuntarily. If you had been re-elected, what would you have liked to have accomplished? I don't have any doubt that if I had had an, another term in office, I could have implemented very firmly the peace agreement that I negotiated with Israel and its neighbors uh, that was never fully implemented. So now, you know, 35 or 40 years later, we still have Israel not at peace with its neighbors. But my successors were not very interested in, in the Mideast peace process, not as deeply as I was. And that's one of the things that I could have done differently.